Here we need to use one special feature. We call it DHCP relay agent. Let me write here DHCP relay agent. The rotor, okay, should help, uh, should give help to the, uh, for example, PCs in other network to, uh, to taking IP address. Here in the rotor one, in the interface of the rotor one, that it can receive the DHCP server. We are configuring one command. The command is IP helper address, okay, IP helper address, then the IP address of the DHCP, 192.168.15. Actually, we are uh, saying to the rotor one that the IP address of the DHCP is 192.168.15. Because of that, when the R1 is receiving the broadcast DHCP uh, discovery, okay, it should create one new DHCP discovery, okay, this is the new DHCP discovery, with the this unicast destination ip not broadcast look at here discovery okay this is the dhcp discovery that's created by the rotor one the destination ip is 192.168.15 because we have configured this on this interface on eth00 and the source ip is the ip address of the eth00 192.168 uh, for example 11 okay here uh, you know that for this uh, computer for this uh, for example if, if the ip of dhcp is 192.168.15 here we have another range for example 21 because uh, you know that rotor is working between two range of network because of that we can uh, for example say here we are using 192.168.20/24 okay and the ip address of the rotor is 21 and the on the right side we are using 192.168.10 slash uh, for example 24 and the ip address of the, the gateway is uh, 0.1 and the ip address of the dhcp server is 192.168 uh, for example 15 okay because of that now the rotor should create this dhcp discovery to the destination of the dhcp server after that dhcp server again with the similar process should answer from its ip address to the uh, for example ip address of the rotor 192.168.21 with the dhcp offer message okay this is unicast okay and after that again the rotor should create a uh, one uh, broadcast message okay uh, and this is the dhcp offer with the same information that rotor received uh, from the DHCP offer message of the DHCP server. This is the uh, process of the DHCP relay agent. Again, you know that we should send DHCP request from the PC1. PC1 doesn't know anything about the relay agent. And here again, the router one should create a DHCP request from its IP address to the IP address of the DHCP server. Finally, DHCP server should give the DHCP acknowledgement, okay, to the router one. And then the router one again should send one DHCP acknowledgement in broadcast uh, with broadcast to the, uh, for example, PC one or to the uh, to to in this network DHCP. Act. All of these messages are broadcast, such as the normal DHCP operation. But actually, here the router now is helping to PCs to taking IP address from the DHCP server. Don't forget, we need to configure IP helper address then the IP address of the DHCP dhcp on the interface of the rotor that is residing in this LAN. okay if you configure the ip address for example with incorrect ip address the systems cannot receive ip uh, from uh, from the dhcp server the command is rotor config if ip dhcp uh, or ip helper address ip helper address then the dhcp server IP address. Okay, this is the method we call it the ACP relay agent. Okay, don't forget, I, I will show you, but don't forget that when you are configuring IP helper address, okay, uh, beside of the DHCP, a few other broadcast types in addition to DHCP message are advertising to the IP that you are configuring. Okay, let me to uh, uh, talk about this a uh, few uh, um, broadcast message. It is not important so as for uh, for this topic, but in, it's important. It's uh, uh, interesting to know that when you are configuring IP helper, actually. Actually, the all of the TFTP messages and after that all of the DNS message okay let me to 
right here dns and after that its message its is the abbreviation of the internet time services let me write here internet then time service okay and also after that the net bios name server net bios name a uh, server okay and after that the boot p and then the for example tacx and also the for example net bios datagram server net bios data gram uh, server all of the message of these protocols also are uh, for example forwarding to the uh, ip address that you configure ip helper address tftp is the abbreviation of the trivial uh, file transfer protocol dns is the abbreviation of the domain name system or domain name service its is the abbreviation of the internet uh, time service and then NetBIOS name server, and then BootP and TechX, and finally NetBIOS Datagram server. These messages are also advertising to the to this IP, but you know that in most cases we don't have this message in our network because of that. The main function of the IP helper address or DHCP relay agent is for DHCP because of that, the name of this feature is DHCP relay agent, not TFTP relay agent, not for example BootP or TechX Plus or NetBIOS Datagram server uh, relay agent. Okay, because of that, in most cases, this command only is using for the DHCP relay agent. Let me to show you this scenario, and now we can experience this uh, function in our scenario look at here here we have one scenario r1 connected to this switch and then to pc1 then r1 connected to the next switch and also the dacv server and until now i didn't configure uh, the for example ip helper address on the interface of rotor one let me to show you the configuration of the rotor one okay here in the rotor one uh, do show run first let me to correct the duplex interface range eth00 and then one the duplex is full look at here show run interface uh, for example eth00 can show us that we have only one ip address on this interface and also on the eth01 okay because of that uh, when pc1 is trying to receiving the ip address from the dacp uh, because the DHCP discovery cannot send to the DHCP uh, server, we cannot find the DHCP server and finally we cannot take IP address from the DHCP server. Let me to show you, uh, assume that here I'm going to capture both ETH00 and ETH01 here, capture of the ETH00 because I'm going to compare these two cap capture with each other. This is the capture of the ETH00. And after that, this is the uh, capture of the ETH01, okay? After that, I'm trying to receiving IP address from the computer. Here, if you want, you can see only DHCP message and also here only DHCP message, okay? And this is the, uh, for example, PC1. This is the PC1. I'm going to, uh, for example, use the IP config slash release and then renew. In the uh, command prompt ip config then a slash release and also uh, for example renew now we don't have ip address then renew look at here when you are using the, the renew command here as you can see we are sending dhcb discovery but because the dhcb discovery cannot receive by the dhcb server finally we will not have ip address now i'm going to configure the ip helper address on the uh, for example rotor 1 eth00 let me to configure it on the eth00 after rotor 1 conf t interface eth00 okay the ip address of the dhcp server is uh, uh, 192.168.15 let me to check the connectivity between the rotor and the dhcp server ping 192.168.15 we have connectivity and after that let me to configure on the interface eth00 
the IP helper address command IP helper address then the IP address of the DHCP 192.168.15 that's it after some second okay now when we are we have DHCP discovery the uh, as you can see the DHCP discovery forwarded with unicast uh, to the DHCP server from 192.168.21 to the 15 again when the DHCP server sent its DHCP offer with the one nine with the source of 